Welcome to part two of True Analysis, where we analyse the madness of the general election. How come, once the leaders are displaced, they can return to humanity? And what exactly is David Cameron going to say to us? And is there any of it that we can take remotely seriously? The government I led did important work. There was a wonderful bit before it where I thought this guy had won the election. So I thought, oh, good. We haven't seen him yet. <laughs> he looks all right. I think everything's going to be OK. But of course, it was just because with rolling 24 hour news, an empty podium has to be filmed for a little while. And that man was the practice podium filler. It laid the foundations for a better future. And now we must build on them. Like when you watch that, don't you sort of think like, what? <laughs> I'm Livia. I truly believe we're on the brink of something special in our country. I hope what we're on the brink of is a new kind of post politics where people pull away, create alternative systems that are not dependent upon the establishment. We can make Britain a place where a good life is in reach for everyone who is willing to work and do the right thing. I mean, if that were true, imagine. Every, right? I'm willing to work and I'm willing to do the right thing. Well, both of those things are subjective. The first one's impossible, and do the right thing. Is it the right thing to cut benefits for the poorest people in the world? Under some circumstances, that is the right thing to do. Is it the right thing to blame immigrants and the vulnerable while bankers and the wealthy continue to get richer and richer? Yes, yes it is. Oh, right, so what you're saying is true if you look at it through a solipsistic lens of meanness. That's exactly correct. Our manifesto is a manifesto for working people. And as a majority government, we will be able to deliver all of it. Well, he's right to a point because 12 billion of cuts are happening to the welfare system. So if you ain't working, you're fucked. You're not in their manifesto. Unemployment will continue to fall because poor people are forced into unfair and inadequate zero hour contracts. Brilliant. The number of food banks will continue to rise because of spiraling poverty. Thanks for that. Inequality will increase because of tax breaks for the rich. Continuing privatisation of our health and education systems, great news there. Cuts will continue to fall heavily on local councils and public services like the police, fire and prison services which are already stretched and continually being privatised. The Human Rights Act will be scrapped, luckily that only affects people you know that are humans. TTIP will hand over swathes of national sovereignty to multinational corporations. So for all their anti-European rhetoric, they're going to hand power over through the TTIP, watch out for that, to big corporations. So there's the manifesto. So I hope to God you're a working person, because if you ain't, you're about to become an extremely poor person. Indeed, it is the reason why I think majority government is more accountable. Three million apprenticeships. More help with childcare. And now we're back to the sort of politics as we understand it. A bloke just saying stuff that has no relationship to reality. Better than ever. Wonderful. Daisies growing on a lawn. Sunshine. Rainbows. Cute little black boy perched on the lap of a white lady. She offers him a biscuit. He takes it. That's the Britain I want to see. I'm pumped. Helping 30 million people cope with the cost of living by cutting their taxes. The duplicity of the victor once again bears down to assert a manifesto which will continue to persecute the poor and to celebrate and alleviate and elevate and exalt the rich. We must ensure that we bring our country together. As I said in the small hours of this morning, we will govern as a party of one nation, one united kingdom. Yeah, it is one united nation, one united kingdom. It's the one he lives in. It's the one that's fine for them. For the people he's talking to, this stuff is true. That's what's terrifying. Yes, chills. That means ensuring this recovery reaches all parts of our country, from north to south, from east to west. <laughs> Name points on a compass as part of your job. It means giving everyone in our country a chance. So no matter where you're from, you have the opportunity to make the most of your life. What? No matter where you're from? Yes, it doesn't matter if you went to Eton, Harrow, or even possibly rugby. Things could be fantastic for you. Oh no, not if you're black or Muslim. It means giving the poorest people the chance of training, a job, and hope for the future. I hope there is a future. There isn't one. It means that for children who don't get the best start in life, there must be the nursery education and good schooling that can transform their life chances. How can you even talk about best start in life? It's just fired out of a vagina into a top hat. Together, we can make Great Britain greater still. Greater still? Or is it actually a bit shit? <laughs> That's some true news. <laughs> Subscribe here. It's literally the only chance you have of any possible way out of this hell.
is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.